Hi guys, so I've got another homeware haul for you today. I didn't know what to film and then I was in the room and I just looked at all of the stuff that I've accumulated from my new house and I was like, I actually haven't shown any of this. So I'm gonna show you it today. There's not too much stuff because I want to get in there first. I've basically bought somewhere that needs renovating. So I'm getting a complete new kitchen, walls knocked down, new floor, new ceilings, new bathroom, literally new everything. So I'm kind of buying along the way, like more when the work is done. So I know what I actually need. But the, these are a few bits that I've spotted in shops that I just could not say no to. And the first thing is so freaking cute. This was £20 and it was from Matalan. And I haven't been to Matalan in years. But when I was back in Sheffield, there was a big one and I was like, let's go in there. See what they've got. And I found this gorgeous vase. Look how beautiful this is. It's just a pale dusky pink with a gold rim around it. And you can actually take the gold off if you don't like it. Just have it like that. Which is good, I guess, if you ever get sick of gold you could just take that bit off but yeah as I said this was 20 pounds I think it's so nice I can see peonies in this tulips it would just look beautiful ah. I got this a while ago and I don't think I've ever shown it this was from H&M and it is this tassel cushion look so yeah you just put your cushion in it and it looks so cute I got this for either my bedroom or for the living room on one of the sofas I just think it's really nice I might actually put this on my new brown chair that I bought but I don't know if they still have these on the website I'm gonna link everything I can find below another thing from Matalan that I saw and I was like yes I want this next to a new fireplace so this is from their botanical collection and it was 30 pounds and it's this plant stand and it's on these really long legs and I love this so much I can imagine it with a big like dangly plant dangling over and like I said I want this next to a new fireplace just to add some green in there but it's the most perfect shade of gold that is my favorite shade of gold it's not yellowy kind of a little joke thing that I got from H&M were these salt and pepper shakers my kitchen is going to be quite plain so I wanted to inject a little bit of personality somewhere they're so gaudy I love them and I hate them at the same time but these are two leopard salt and pepper shakers I just think these will look nice with the colour scheme I'm going with and like I said it's just adding a little bit of personality in there to stop everything looking so bland and samey so yeah I got these obviously it comes with another little one from M&S Home I got these around Christmas because I knew that I was gonna be buying somewhere and the Brighton Water has sent my gold cutlery that I've had for about three years. It was fine in London, but as soon as I moved back here, my gold cutlery has gone silver with our kind of water. So I thought I would replace it and I got my original set from M&S so I decided to get this set from M&S too. It's just this gorgeous set of gold cutlery that was £49.50 down to £35. You get four of everything but I bought two sets. The only bad thing about this is it says that it's a sleek gold effect and on the front it doesn't look shiny, it looks quite matte. But then if you actually look at them, I took one out of the thing and I was so shocked because they are not matte at all they are very shiny and if I knew that I might not have got them however I do really like them and I love how thin the handles are they just feel so nice like that's such a cool knife I will link these if I can find them if not I'll link something very similar below but in my experience the M&S ones have been the cheapest gold cutlery that I've found another thing from H&M home this is for my bathroom and these are some towels with a spotty print on this spotty print is so in right now isn't it but I just want a pretty plain monochrome bathroom with baby pink towels and a mixture of these ones I got some baby pink ones from Ikea but they're actually in Sheffield I forgot to bring them here so yeah I'm gonna have just a mixture of these and baby pink and everything else is gonna be black and white but I'm gonna have like brass um, taps and stuff kind of like this color that is the vibe that I'm going for in the bathroom so I picked up four of these and I also got four little hand towels as well and I really like these a lot one thing I do have to say is they're not that big though 
I love like a bath sheet, I think that's what they're called, where they're so big and you can literally just wrap yourself around in it like four times. These aren't like that, they're more like hotel towels, you know how they're never really big enough to be cosy, but I do really like them. I got this tray from H&M Home, it's just a massive tray, I have very kindly been gifted a pink velvet ottoman from Arlo and Jacob, which I'm so buzzing about. I haven't even opened it yet because I'm waiting for the new place so that I can open it in there so that nothing happens to it. But I'm having that instead of a coffee table because for me, coffee tables, I just chuck stuff on it and never tidy it. So I thought it would be better to just have a big sofa and then an ottoman so everybody can put their feet up. Right now I've got a sofa with like one leg bit, but only the person who sits on that bit can have their feet up. And I want everybody to have their feet up because it's comfy. So I got an ottoman and I've got this tray for on it so that if I do have drinks or anything on the sofa I can pop them on there. <gasps> And this was quite expensive. I can't remember how much it was, maybe around the £20 mark, but it's huge and it's really good. And obviously it's got handles so I can carry it from the kitchen to the ottoman. I got this big fluffy cushion from Matalan. This was £15, which is such a bargain. It's literally massive. Oh, you can't even see because it's so big. <laughs> so I got two of these and I got two of them for my new sofa. I think I'm gonna go with a gray sofa because I've got the pink ottoman. I just wanted two of these on it, keep it quite plain. So I have so many cushions at the minute and I don't like any of them. So I just thought if I got two of these, that would keep it plain and comfortable. And they are... Oh. And these are so huge and comfortable. And like I said, they're an absolute bargain. These elsewhere are like 40 quid, it's crazy. So I got two of those bad boys. My house is gonna be so cute. Ooh, I got this from Urban Aptis, which I haven't opened yet. I'm kind of trying to keep everything in the packages because I'm not using any of it in this place. It's literally all for when I move. So I got this Starlight from Urban Aptis and Oh my god, I'm just obsessed with this. It's it's basically a wire moon that you drill to the wall. Should I get it out? I'll just get it out. Oh, I didn't realise it was batteries. I thought it was a plug in the wall. That's annoying, but hey ho. It's just a moon like this that's gold and it's got these little firefly lights on and I guess if I really don't like the battery pack, I can always change the lights on it but it's got holes for you to actually properly secure it to the wall and it looks so good. And I'm gonna have this at the side of my bed instead of um, a bedside light. I would like this like at the side on the wall. One more thing that I got from Matalan was this basket, which is just a, what do you call it? Weavy basket. And it's actually got leather handles and that is why I got it because I've got a chair that pretty much goes along with the vibe of this that I'm having in my living room. So yeah, it just brings another element in and I'm gonna fill this with either spare cushions or throws. And this was 25 pounds, I love this so much. Okay, the last thing that I've got recently are these two lights that I'm gonna show you. Damn, I can't actually get them out of the bubble wrap. Well, here's me showing you that I have actually bought them. <laughs> So it's these lights that I've bought, I'll insert a picture, and I've got these for above a kitchen island, either above the island or above my dining room table, I haven't decided yet. As you can tell, I'm going for quite a pink theme, it's going to be like pink and grey, but not too pink, it's going to be a lot more grown up, like I have a bright bright pink sofa now, and everything is so colourful, whereas the only pink things really are going to be like a vase, my ottoman will be the big pink thing, and then these lights, and these lights match this vase perfectly in colour. So I got those from Swoon Editions, and I love them, oh my god, so much. I just can't wait to be in my new place, I can't wait to renovate it, but I'm getting so impatient, like all the paperwork is going through now, so it's not officially even mine yet, but I'm taking my builder to see it again in a few days, and everything seems to be going really well, so keep your... Oh, a fly. Did you see that? <laughs> so keep your fingers and toes crossed for me. I'm gonna go now because my throat's really hurting from talking. I was singing my head off today and I didn't warm up. 
so I've definitely hurt my throat. Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for me to start making house renovation videos. I'm gonna do before and afters. I'm gonna take you along the way of like, show you when the work's been done and everything. I'm literally gonna show you everything along the way and I'm so excited. So give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for that and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see that and other videos. And I will see you in my next one.